to my kitchen. I'm just preheating my oven right now to 425 because I like to start my pies on a high temperature to ensure that the crust is lightly browned, crispy, done, not soggy, okay? So I'll bake on 425 for about 10 minutes and then I'll turn it down to about, maybe about 350. All right, look, y'all, this is a very highly requested video. Um, this sweet potato, cream cheese, cream cheese, sweet potato pie, oh uh, Lord, I'm, this is not a pound cake, lady. Y'all know I'm so used to doing these pound cakes and I'm trying to do something different these days. But this cream cheese sweet potato pie or sweet potato cream cheese pie, whatever you want to call it, is the best of both worlds. For those of you who love sweet potato pie and also love cream cheese. Now, I'm not, we're not really big cream cheese eaters. Me and my dude, number one, AKA my husband, he really doesn't care for cream cheese. So it's gonna be interesting to get his reaction when he tastes this. But our daughter, she loves cream cheese. My sister loves cream cheese. So we're gonna see if this will be a hit for Thanksgiving, okay? So again, I've never done this before. We're gonna experiment. You guys, I'm gonna mix up my sweet potato pie filling part, just like I do my sweet potatoes. Now it's gonna be my sweet potato pie. Maybe a little challenging because I never usually do just one pie. I'm doing at least anywhere from four to six to 12 pies at a time, okay? So, yeah, but we gonna be all right, okay? So for my sweet potato pie filling part, you're gonna need at least a cup, this is a tad bit more, which is fine, of sweet potatoes. You guys, I always roast my sweet potatoes in the oven on 400 for about an hour, okay? At least until they're done, so 400 degrees, for an hour, I never boil my sweet potatoes because I feel like when you boil them, it, it causes them to have more water. They hold more water when you boil them. So I always like to roast my sweet potatoes. So this is what you see here. And it's, I don't know if you can tell, but it's still smoking because I really just now took it out. Um, well, it's been out for a couple of minutes now, but I see the steam even if you can't. But you guys, I like to work my, with my sweet potatoes while they are hot, okay? So I'm going to mix up my sweet potato filling first. And while I'm running off at the mouth, I'm going to tell you guys my ingredients. But while I'm running off at the mouth, let me go on it. Um, I was going to put some butter in it, but no, let me get my strings out first. Okay, so we're going to use at least a cup of sweet potatoes. You guys see I'm trying to think this through as I'm doing it because I don't be practicing that and then show y'all. We just do it on the flat. All right, that's how we do it over here. One cup of roasted sweet potatoes. I'm going to use half stick of butter. I'm going to start off with maybe a fourth teaspoon of nutmeg. Let's see. Is that what I want to start off with? Yeah. I'll start off with maybe a fourth, and then I'll kind of taste my batter to see if I'm getting that taste that I need, okay? Um, I know some of you use cinnamon, um, you do lemon, you do ginger, all of the things that you like to do as it pertains to sweetening, not sweetening, seasoning your sweet potato pie, that's what you season your filling with, okay? I only use butter, salt, and nutmeg because that's what my mom did. Now, I also add a little bit of vanilla. I think she did that sometimes. But that's all I add. I don't add the cinnamon and all of that. But the great thing in this recipe is that however you want your sweet potato pie filling to taste, that's what you add, okay? All right? So, nutmeg, half a stick of butter. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of evaporated milk. I'll probably start off with about fourth of a cup of evaporated milk. I'm going to use one egg, and I'll add a little bit of vanilla extract to my pie, and then I'm going to add a little bit of salt, just a dash of salt. I'm going to need that salt to kind of balance with that sweet, and it just it gives it the perfect taste, but don't put too much salt, okay? That's why I have to taste it, because I'll know it when I taste it. Um, and I can't remember if I said, if I did, please forgive me a half cup of sugar. I think I did say that, but just in case I didn't, honey. All right, now for the cream cheese part, I'm going to use one 8-ounce uh, block of cream cheese. And it's still cold. It's still cold. 
I'm going to use about, start with a fourth, I'm going to do a fourth cup of sugar. And then again, we're going to do one egg. And I'm going to add a little bit of this clear vanilla because I want that cream cheese to, you know, to keep that bright color. And then we're going to use something that I have never, ever, ever used is a deep dish pie shell. I never use a deep dish pie shell when I do my sweet potato pie. So this will be my first time doing this, okay? So I have my deep dish. Now what I'm going to do, like I said, I'm going to start with my sweet potatoes first because I like to mess with my sweet potato while it's warm, okay? I have thoroughly wiped off the top of my cans using some soap and water and because I'm talking about it, it's just a natural reaction to grab the dishcloth and wipe some more. But you guys, make sure when you're using your cans, please wipe them off. They are extremely nasty. Make sure you clean off the top of these cans. They've been a little bit of air. They've been across the world. Them big on tractor trailer trucks and the grocery stores and, and the warehouses. They're nasty. Okay, wash them off. And then while you're washing them, make sure you wash your nasty hands too. Don't be in the kitchen with nasty hands because that's just nasty. All right? Okay. So here we go. I'm going to start and I'm going to have to, uh, I guess I'm going to have to mute it because I think this is going to be loud, y'all. But what I'm going to start by doing is getting my, getting all these strings out of here. But I, I, I think it's going to be loud, so I'm just going to have to kind of show you guys a clip with me just... Now you see all the strings that's on these beaters, y'all. That, that's not what we want, okay? We do not like, I do not like strings in a sweet potato pie. So what I'm going to do is keep mixing and getting those strings out, okay? And I'm going to do that probably at least, I'm going to do that at least three times, okay, until I get all the strings. Now I'm going to add my butter. Well, trying to keep you from falling over. Okay. We're going to add our butter. I'm just going to put it in here. So we have the nutmeg, the egg. Uh, I don't think I measured out my sugar. Okay, let me go on and put the milk. And then we're going to go on and add a half cup of sugar. It seems so funny trying to do a mix for one pie. Don't even seem right. <laughs> uh, we're going to do a little dash of salt. And I'm going to do like a little pinch. Pinch of salt. And like I said, you guys, I just have to, I have to taste it to make sure... It's tasting like what I wanted to taste like. Add that good old vanilla. I'll mix it up a little bit by hand first. And then we'll finish it off with the mixer. Oh, I love the smell of nutmeg. Okay, 
Let me do a little taste to see if I think I'm going to need something else. This is my fork I use to kind of smush up my sweet potatoes. Just a little bit more sugar. For you guys that don't like your desserts, your pie is really sweet, and then you can start with half a cup of sugar. And I'm going to add a little more. rinse out this bowl so we can mix up our cream cheese filling. Okay, so I'm going to start by adding my cream cheese and I'm just going to tell you what I'm going to do before I turn on the mixer, okay? So I'm going to add my cream cheese and then I'm going to mix it up a while by itself. I want to get it a little creamy. We'll get it creamy and smooth by itself before I add anything else. So once I get the cream cheese smooth, then I'll add my sugar. And I'll mix that in, get it smooth, and then I'll add the egg. While I'm standing here talking, I'm going to add this clear vanilla. So I won't forget. But again, I'm just going to cream this by itself first. Get it creamy. Then I'll add my sugar. Get that creamy. And then I'll add the egg. And then we'll be ready to fill this pie shell.
you guys, the cream cheese wasn't didn't have enough flavor to me. So I added just a little bit of my cream bouquet. That's what I was showing you guys. I told you I wasn't a big cream cheese eater, but um, it just seemed like it needed a little more flavor to me. And I'm doing good because I really want to add some more sugar, but I'm not, okay? So we're going to start by adding the cream cheese to the pie shell. I might save a, just a little bit to do something on top. Let's see. Make it look pretty on top. Okay. Okay. So that's our cream cheese. And then to add our Sweet potato pie feeling. I'm trying not to just splatter it in there because I do want it to look pretty on the top after you know when it bakes It's really hard not to get the cream cheese mixed in with the pie, though. I guess I could have. You could always do um, this. Is just my cake tester. I'm just gonna run it through. But you could always do. I guess. more pie filling. Okay, I'm going to leave that be. So now we're ready to go in the oven. Um, just for looks, let me sprinkle just a little bit more nutmeg on the top. I'm trying to tap it lightly so won't let too much of it come out. So we're going in at 425 degrees. I'm going to cook it there for about 10 minutes. Right when my crust starts to brown, that's when I want to turn it down, okay? When I start seeing a light brown changing my crust. Okay, 10 minutes and then we'll turn it down to like 350 and cook at least probably about another hour. Okay, we've been baking an hour and a half and I know it has to do because of the cream cheese and also correction, I when I turn my oven down um, after starting it on the 425 I turn it down to 325 not I think I said 350 okay so that's what we're looking like so now we definitely have to set and cool Cream cheese. So I don't even know if he's gonna come in here and get some. See if daddy gonna come in here. I haven't told him what it is, but he finds out what it is. He be like, no. Oh, he probably gonna 
turn his nose up. Look y'all. Look at that. Mm. And let me taste it too. You gonna come taste it? She's gonna be my taste tester, y'all. But she loves cream. Cream cheese. Try to cut me a little slither. You the one gonna have a real reaction because you a cheesecake eater, not me. You ready? Mm-hmm. We gotta cheers. How are you doing the most? <laughs> Let's cheers. Cheers. I taste the sweet potato. I taste the cheesecake. Interesting. Mm. Really like that. Mm. Hmm? Y'all hear Jackson? Jackson, he in there with his papa. Papa, come taste. He gonna be like, mm-mm. <laughs> this mm. looks weird. That's different. Let me this. Let me see. Look, you know me both. <laughs> Let's see how that's the inside of it. Every time I come on this Eastern Pike, like, mm, I'm the cream. You, know. you taste it? That's good. Is it good? It's different. I'm used to the cheesecake being cold. Mm hmm. Now, I would suggest refrigerating it because of the cheesecake. But it is really good. It's, it's definitely good. It's definitely different. Look at that thumbnail. That is head probably going to be in the back when he come in. Because I need to get it before we dig into it a little more. Mm -hmm. Babe, you going to be in the background? Come here, fellow. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Don't leave him in there by himself. Interesting. That is good. Oh, what's that? Mm. Put the girl over to the right. You want some pie? Oh, look. Look. What's on here with all that noise? What is that? Look. Two, you gon' we gotta hit the thumbnail. Mm. You gonna move over to the right because I have to get the words up there. Oh. There you go. Cheese. See, I told y'all that to y'all. This is why I'm here. <laughs> That's why Donise is here because I knew he was gonna be like, uh, uh. See, they're using me, but it's okay. it's okay. You don't, you, you don't even want to taste what? it. Uh, you don't have neither, Jackson. You, you on Papa's side? Well, you guys, this is interesting. It's good. It's great for those of you that love green cheese. I don't know. I, I I think I just want to keep my regular sweet potato because I'm not a cream cheese eater. If I love cream cheese, but for those of you that this is how you do it, it works. So I guess it's going with her, huh? You take it to work tomorrow. <laughs> but I definitely, like I say, suggest putting it in the refrigerator um, because of the cream cheese. Okay. So you good? You know to make it dance, uh huh? Mm -hmm. So if you've not subscribed, please consider doing so. <laughs> Hit that notification bell, and when you do, it shakes, and that's that shake some, shake some. But it seems it seems funny closing the video without you being in here. It's okay. I'm a great placeholder. Okay. Okay. All right. We already look forward to you joining us again next time. Bye. Hit the nose. <laughs> All right. Thank you, too. <laughs>